Hello guys, today I will be showing you another tutorial of Met App Inventor of how to make an app to translate messages. So first, I would just start a new project named Translate App. It will translate messages. It is used to translate messages. It will be used. take some time to open so first of all we would uh, make this title invisible and then we would add uh, we would add a horizontal arrangement and make its width fill parent now we would add two spinners spinner and, and this is the second spinner and make their will, uh, width fill parent. Okay. Fill parent. Right. And now, uh, for first, uh, the message would be translate from. You can choose. Uh, you can write any uh, lang uh, any language like English. French, German, okay, for now I would uh, be writing only these three languages, now I would paste them in here and just change this to translate to and that's, now we would add a a text box make it worth full parent and it uh, its height as 30 percent so if it is in uh, I did this because if the message is in uh, more than one line then it would be easy and uh, the hint is uh, the hint will be enter message now I would add a translate tool that is Yandex translate and then in user interface I would add a button first of all I would make uh, its uh, alignment to center its background color to none and its text to trans And now its size as 18. Now I would add two labels. First label and the second label. In first label, I will uh, write translated message. Make its phone size as 18 and bold. And now for the second one, I would just erase all the text and make its width as fill parent and height also as fill parent okay and uh, make them invisible and make this also as good phone board. now what uh, i will do is now we have to now we have completed the hardware part now we will go okay. now we will go to blocks first of all we will check for situation uh, no we will directly uh, see first for translation so when button one dot click we would uh, enter a if statement also we will add a notifier here we will add a notifier okay this way. now we will uh, add an equal to sign yeah, and an or so if
pin not one dot selection is equals to translate from or from so this would uh, check that if the user has entered any uh, if the user has choosed any language okay now I'll just duplicate them you can uh, just uh, copy paste them with control C and control V or command C or command V or translate to in here and then uh, and uh, if uh, it is this case then we would uh, display the no uh, notification that please enter a language please select a language will show alert And now I would uh, again check if uh, if the user has entered any text. So for that, uh, I would take another equals to st uh, statement. I'll just clear this box. And here in text, you would find this length of, and then in text box, you would find text box one dot text is equals to zero. We would go in math and is equals to zero. Then we would show another alert that please uh yes, please enter a message. Okay. And uh if nothing uh and then we'd uh, uh, write if so before that we would have to declare a uh, pr procedure that would be translation to translation to translation and in this we would check uh, we would translate the message actually so we would uh, enter an if statement if if spinner 2 which is it is not full so here we would uh, change it to if spinner 2 dot selection is equal to french so our first was french is equal to french Leave this block and then we would go in Yandex Translate call Yandex Translate 1 to translate the message and the language to translate to is French, uh, FR for French, and the text to translate is this text box one dot text because we have written everything in there because the user will uh, write here and now i will duplicate and we also wrote english so if it uh, i just delete this block else if to en okay and then uh, it would translate and if it is equal to german okay and then okay uh, instead of german we will write russian in this case because uh, german is uh, not exactly supported with uh, yandex translate so we will write russian Okay, and would we'll change accordingly. 
in the second spinner also we would change it and we would change it here also and the language to translate to is Russian which is RU okay so this uh, is complete and now in this else box we will write uh, we would uh, just uh, call translation okay and now once the message is translated so when it is it has got translation so first uh, so we would set the label to text to the translation which we have got and then we would uh, make them uh, make uh, them visible label 1 label 2 visible to label 2 will be visible to they both will be true only. okay so now our uh, app design app is completed and now we will uh, we will uh, test it test it in our local emulator so I will be doing that uh, once I make its build and I will be showing you in some time. Uh, so here uh, you have to do, the, do this to get translation not uh, to get uh, get response to you have to do it to get translation okay. So now I would be showing you the demo okay. yes so now i will show you the demo so you have to enter a language if you do not enter and just click on translate then it would show you this error and now you have to enter the language like translate from now from english i choose from english to let's say russian okay now i would enter a message like I am making a translate okay and now I'll click, I'll click on translate so now it is showing me the message in Russian okay so this is the message now uh, Uh, this would also uh, the same if you don't uh, write anything and just click on translate then it would show you another error that is please enter a message okay so this error would be shown so this is our translate app if you like this please like like this video share and subscribe to the channel so you can learn more about these mid uh, apps and you can also see how uh, you can make them make your own app thanks for watching the video and bye